Okay, so yes, we've dismissed Manibus. He's gonna go and practice and Kaz now is throwing the microphone on and we're going to have a little lesson. Now Kaz is a little bit more experienced skater. So I'm gonna try to take a look at Kaz's forward crossovers and see how, what the next step is for him to make them better. And of course, there's not one correct answer to this, but I don't want to um, ask him to do something that's uh, too difficult all at once. I've continued to develop and improve and come to a better understanding of good crossovers over the years and decades. So it's really an unending process, making your crossovers better and it will be to your advantage because it's a skating skill. If you can make your crossovers nice and smooth, nice and efficient, that skating skill will um, redound to the rest of your figure skating ability. So Kaz, maybe you could show me your forward crossovers, please. Yeah, so you can see that Kaz has pretty good crossovers, right? I think he's got very, very good technique on those. Yeah, they're a little wobbly, you know, so as you go practice going around, see if you can, uh, we, we tend to wobble the most when we first step, when we first change from one foot to the other. That's when it often takes uh, a little while until we gain our balance and so we want to try to keep the wobbles to a minimum So I just try to demonstrate my steadiest crossovers. Go ahead. Yeah, I think Kaz has very, very good technique on his crossovers. So I have to kind of nitpick a little bit to find something that I can give a correction ab about. Um, well, here's a suggestion. Uh, it feels to me like you've got a little bit too much tension in your upper body. So I think you could relax your arms and shoulders. Uh, if you're doing uh, crossovers on a circle, Maybe you can twist a little bit more so that you've got the right arm in front and the left arm behind. And you can raise your arms. This would be my default stroking technique. The arms nice and high. They're quite relaxed. I'm just holding just enough energy to keep them up in a nice high position. I've got my spine twisted so that one is in front and one is behind. Yeah. Go ahead. Try that. Keeping your abdominal muscles straight, tight and strong so that that part of your body is stable. Twisting the shoulders and raise them a little higher. Yeah, so they've got shoulder level.
Okay, good, already a little better now. I can hear a little bit more sound with the right foot than the left foot. This, this left stroke underneath in that awkward position is a little bit more difficult to push in that position, but try to feel that you're getting the same stroke. Power, 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 power. So that you get the same sound and the same feeling of power on both feet as you push, both legs as you push. Go ahead. Push, 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 push. Good. Yeah. So I think you have about the right, you have a very good athletic position. You're not leaning too much forward. You're bending nicely into your ankles so that you're not bending too much into your hips. I think that's good. I think it's also good that you don't lean your upper body significantly inside the curve like so many skaters do as well. Many skaters lean too much forward and too much inside the curve when they do their uh, crossovers. This is a posture of many skaters, hardly bending the ankles at all and leaning forward. So keeping the upper body vertical, well, leaning forward just slightly, but not leaning sideways at all during the crossovers, I think that's something that you're quite good at. Now, something that Kevin could improve at and, and anybody can really improve in this way is to get a little more power. Lower your center of gravity. So instead of being here, when you do your crossovers, you're gonna go a little bit more bend into your ankles, knees and hips. You're gonna be a little bit more, and then you can get a longer stroke. If you're up here, your stroke is, can be this long. And as you, as you get lower down, your stroke can be a little bit longer. Yeah, so just, this is something you can do gradually. You can get just a little bit more down, yeah, just a little bit lower position as you do your crossovers and feeling a little bit longer stroke then on each crossover. All right, go ahead. Push, 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 push. Good, you're getting pretty good stability after practicing these crossovers for the last 10 minutes. Your stability is improving. That's a pretty good bend. And yeah, good. So I've been, I've had you focusing on your legs, and so you're forgetting your upper body. So, uh, you know, when you practice, you want to remind yourself of your upper body. We can only think of one thing at a time. So this, this all takes a lot of practice to get. So you don't have to think so much about uh, your bend and your power generation and that. And then you can think also about your upper body. So that's something that takes time to integrate all these things into your crossovers. One small thing that we can improve about your crossovers is uh, you, you, your, this stroke could be a little longer on the right foot. So you stroke and then your leg goes high, a little bit high in the air here. We can't push off the air. We can only push off the ice. So push off the ice and then the foot just barely comes off the ice at the end of the stroke. Push off ice, ice. Feel the contact of the ice a little bit longer. Push, 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 push. 
All right, go ahead. Push against the ice, against the ice, against the ice. Ice, 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 ice. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, that's the idea. Good, that's nice. So, you know, I mean, this lesson could go on and on and on. That's probably enough for now. But um, the, the next thing I might mention to Kaz is while he's stroking, try not to look at the ice. So try to look, get your chin up and your eyes up so you focus out into the distance and you, so you're not like many of us do looking at the ice. Maybe that's the last thing you can remind yourself of as you're skating around. So how, how many things have I, how many points have I made? Uh, 10 different points. So yeah, you can only think of one of them at a time, but eventually they become second nature. They become into your, yeah. So try not to look at the, look at the camera like it's an audience as you come around. As you come around, look into the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we want to be able to eventually do. You look so much better. When you're, you, when you're looking out, you, you look way better. You, you, it's just a be better look. And it's going to uh, be part of your presentation. Thank you for your attention today. Share this valuable information with your friends and give me some comments if you think that there's something I've missed, if there's something that I, you disagree with, or if you just want to get your two cents worth into the debate. Bye for now. Sayonara.